Okay, here we are back again with more Mass Effect 2. And uh, so last time we met an old friend, Conrad Werner. And this time uh, we've had uh, uh, changed our team up a little bit. We got Miranda with us because uh, we are going to do a favor for Miranda here on Ilium now. Uh, she's asked us to help us. She's asked uh, Shepard to help uh, get her sister off world to avoid her father or whatever. So we're gonna help her with that. Uh, we've also got a little vista here that Miranda has something to say about. You have to give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we gotta meet uh, her friend, I think, in the bar. We'll figure something out. Stop worrying. Stop worrying. This is my life you're talking about. You signed the indentured service contract. You oh, gave geez. over your responsibility to me. So, don't worry. It's okay, I'll think of something. You said Synthetic Insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assumed they would want an AI tech. Hello, can I help you with something? <laughs> Free your slave, now. I need you to let that slave go, now. We prefer the term indentured servant. And I know that Batarian slavers have made humans understandably prejudiced against slavery. Before you do anything hasty, know that this Quarian signed the agreement voluntarily, and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the Quarian, convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. Uh, okay. Problem with Quarian. If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the Quarian? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. Why not just keep her? You said she had technical skills. Quarian's strict health requirements and diets make them expensive to house and feed. I run at a minor profit at best. I don't have the money for constant suit repairs and clean room facilities. So what happens if Synthetic Insights won't take me? A solution always presents itself. I will take care of you. <laughs> legal slavery. So slavery is legal on Ilium. Indentured servitude lasts a set amount of time or until agreed upon conditions are met. Ilium must approve all contracts. The law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use and what tasks I can legally assign her. I'm also legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse is absolutely forbidden. Why did this quarry sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers, and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. You get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. Uh, what if I bought her? What if I bought her myself? I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. Okay, okay. I'll handle this. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. I like how they make slavery sound so pleasant. So then he says, Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Our amino acids are all different. So it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go natural. I'm telling you, this is why you shouldn't date humans. So then I had to explain about cross-species fluid contact. Completely killed the mood. <laughs> not to mention that you're a quarian. How could he be so insensitive? Oh, buddy, you're crushing big time, aren't you? Can I help you with something? Uh, would you like a Quarian? How'd you like to get your hands on an expert Quarian AI programmer? If you'd like to submit a resume, I... Wait. Is this that slave? Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. Look, this is good business. It sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. Hiring this Quarian would help. Buying a slave helps our reputation. How exactly do you figure? 
Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation, then free the quarrying and garnish wages for reimbursement. Interesting. We look good for hiring a quarrian, and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. All right, I'll run up a contract. The board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. This quarrian had better be good, though. Oh, she's good. She's very good, I think. I don't know. I only spoke to her for like two minutes, but I'm assuming that she is actually very good. So let's let's tell them that this is happening. Synthetic Insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. I'm happy to help. Here, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. See that you do, Missy. <laughs> okay. Here's our contact for Miranda. Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Ariana's family to the terminal instead. Hmm. You didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other Ilium contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Niket are the only two I trust on this. What information do you have about the mercenaries? I've confirmed that they're Eclipse, and that they're working for an organization Ms. Lawson warned us about. Okay. We could try to alert the authorities, but so far they've done nothing illegal. You made the right decision. We'll handle this ourselves. Okay, so what should we do? It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lantea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. What about Niket? I doubt Eclipse will send all their people just to stop you. Do you want to give Niket any backup? Niket can take care of himself. Okay, for Besides, sure. any armed backup just draws attention to him. Okay, well then, let's do it. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. Yeah, I know. Shepard's pretty badass. It's like Shepard shows up and it's pretty much over before it begins. So, yeah, we're taking, yeah, um, Garrus. Garrus works. Damn it! Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. Put us down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. Hold fire! I said hold fire, damn it! Oh boy. So I guess they do. I got this. Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. Mm, what? What do you mean, Niket won't be helping us? Nothing you need to worry about. Nobody's gonna get killed unless you do something stupid. You walk away now, the girl goes back to her father, and everybody's happy. Everybody but my sister. And me. Wait, Miranda, you said she was your twin sister. Yeah. That what she told you? No, this crazy bitch kidnapped our boss's baby daughter. He's been looking for her for more than a decade. It's complicated, Shepard. We share the same DNA, just not the same birthday. You took a baby from the richest guy in the galaxy, lady. I don't know what your damage is, but you're not getting away with it. Should we be talking to Captain Inyala about this? 
You don't want to talk to the captain. She's not as polite as I am. She's the best commando I've ever seen. I've seen her tear people in half with her biotics. And she's getting paid a lot to stop you. She gets in my way, she'll never have a chance to spend it. Ah, uh, well, I'm on Miranda's side. I mean, of course he's gonna say that she kidnapped his daughter. Like, it doesn't matter how old the kid was. Like, yeah, he's gonna say that. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want things to get up. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, been spotted. that worked. Like, I know we need to get to Niket. We're working on it. We are working on it. Okay, there we go. Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. Uh, why did you take her? I can understand choosing to go your own way, but you stole a young child from her father. If you knew my father, you would understand. I wasn't the first one he made, I was only the first one he kept. I was brought up with no friends, pushed to meet impossible demands. I wasn't a daughter to him. I was... I don't know what I was. Ariana has had a normal life. I made the right decision. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. But... Well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. Mm, there are people yeah, who used her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Oriana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. All right. Well, we need to get her regardless, though. So. If Eclipse knows where Oriana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. So you trust this guy, Niket? I hope your friend can be trusted. Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Is there a chance your father could be using Niket to get to you? I'm sure he's tried, but Niket's one of the few people who understands what my father is really like. I trusted him with my life when I ran from my father, Shepard. He won't betray me now. Okay. Can you tell me anything about the cargo processing yard? We'll be moving through conveyor systems. There'll be a lot of movement. Finding targets won't be easy. We'll need to stay sharp. And these cargo transports carry hazardous materials. So watch what you shoot at. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's go find Niket and Oriana. Right. They're on the far side of the conveyor line. Time your shots. Ready for action! Ah. Get the cover! 
Oh boy. Uh, but there's a hack over here, so I need to give you that. Let's hack. Uh, that one? Oh my gosh. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ugh, I hate when this happens. This one. That one. I just, I need the money. I need the money, okay? I'm poor. I need money. Uh, let's see here. Where are we going next? Medkit. Okay. Submachine gun. This might be useful. Yeah, that might be helpful. Engaging friend or foe detection. And stay down. Nice. Here we go. What less to worry about? There we go. System failing. There we go. I don't care how many mechs you lose. Just stall them, damn it. Taking cover. <laughs> You asshole that. Night night. <laughs> yes. Good job, guys. We're doing so good. Deploy combat drone. There we go. All right, great. We're keeping things moving. We're keeping things moving. Uh, ooh, a Merc to scan. Oh, what's this? Medigel capacity, yeah. Super helpful. Anything else over here? Another hacking. More hackage. All right, let's go. Let us go. This one. And then, oh my god. Oh my god, no. This one. Mm. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That one. I'm trying to talk and hack at the same time, though, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Um. Oh, Hostiles! more dudes. More dudes! That one hit! There we go. Are you still what alive? To there. Worry okay. about. I was gonna say, what in the heck, you guys? Why is that guy still alive? Divert everyone except my guard from the kit. I'll handle him and the kid personally. 
damn it, I'm not letting her get off Oriana. Don't worry, she's not gonna get Oriana. She's not. Come on, Eclipse. Ah. All right, let's just set them all on fire. That's right. I like it when it's just a mess of people just laying there like assholes. When you cluster up like that, I mean, it's just way too easy. It's just way too easy. Enemy combat drone. Slow him down. Yeah. Nice. That's what I like to see. <laughs> Pretty sure I just shot the rocket right out of, out of its trajectory. Oh my god. <laughs> We're good, guys. I like when you can make him explode. Burn, bitch! There we go! Nice! Yep. We're rocking it. Cut down through the cargo line. Oh yeah, I gotcha. I just wanna, you know. <laughs> I'm still gonna go the long way, cause. <laughs> I want to make sure I get all the stuff. See, see, there's a thing. There's a thing. That was 3,000 credits, dude. What else have we got in here? We find element zero. Ammo. That would be helpful. More ammo over here, probably. Uh, another hackage. Of course. Why not? Why not? More hackage. Uh, crapper. Um, no, no. What in the heck? Mm. Jeez Louise, guys. Okay, moving on. More ammo or anything over here? No? Okay, fine. We'll make it work, we'll make Eclipse it work. Operatives have attempted to delay you by disabling the elevators. I am overriding their lockdown. <coughs> hang on, hang on. For their shields are cover! Get down! Grab cover! Jeez, Miranda. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying! <coughs> Uh Now let's finish you off. Because of shot ready. Deploying warp field. Now let's take you out. Take oh. out. All right, come on, guys. I'll tear you apart. The cat has reached the terminal. He'll switch the family over to our transport. The cat. But huh? What? Can't be right. Okay, so I I feel like he's maybe not as 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 uh. Trustworthy as you thought, as you said, 
Uh, Miranda, this is not the plan. Niket was supposed to be on our side. This is not how this was supposed to go. Why did this happen? What did you do? Ugh. I suppose we'll have to find out. Maybe the captain knows we're listening in and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. Yeah. Or maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why won't this thing go any faster? Uh, did he know about Oriana? Did Niket know that you took Oriana from your father? No, he just found out about that recently. It was too personal to involve someone else. I never really thought about it, but maybe... No, he'd have to understand why I did it. He knows what I went through. Are you sure? What makes you so sure that Niket wouldn't turn on you? He could have turned on me when I ran away. I'm sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? <sighs> I guess we'll know when we get there. We won't know anything until we find the cat. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. Listen to me. I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Oh, boy. So, yeah, that's a thing. Miri. This should be fun. Wow, that was cold. Niket. She's just a bureaucrat. You sold me out. Don't kill the messenger, man. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. Niket's uh, betrayal. How did Miranda's father turn you? They told me you kidnapped your baby sister all those years ago. They said I could help get her back peacefully. No trauma to the family. I told them you'd never do that. They could go to hell. And you finally told me what you'd done. I called them back that night. Why didn't you call me, Niket? We've been through a lot. You could have at least let me explain. I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister, Miri. I deserve to know you were with Cerberus. But I had to hear it from your father first. So, you sold her out. How much did Miranda's father pay you? A great deal. Damn it, Niket! You were the only one I trusted from that life. He knew you felt that way. That's why he bought me. So you just took his money? Don't get holy with me, Miri. You took his money for years. Phew, Oriana's new family. Whether or not you agree with Miranda, Oriana has been with her family for years now. Her father can still give her a better life. You don't know what my father wants for her. I know that I've been poor, Miri. I didn't much care for it. He wants to take a girl away from the only family she's ever known. Doesn't that tell you what he really is? Yeah, I mean, dude. I, as far as I'm aware, her family's not poor. Like, f her family's probably pretty normal and middle class. I wouldn't think that Mir Miranda would let her starve, so... I knew Eclipse was willing to get their hands dirty, but kidnapping a kid? I'm not stealing her. I'm rescuing her. Come on, Niket. Let's finish this bitch off and get out of here. Take your best shot. I was just waiting for you to finish getting dressed. Or does Cerberus really let you whore around in that outfit? Oh my god. If you're working for Miranda's father, that means he knows about Oriana. We need to find a new solution. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. I'm going to miss you. No, no, no. Miranda, no. wait. <laughs> you don't want to do this. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. Uh, I'll tell him that you hid her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Niket. Done. Oh, jeez. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. 
You'll die for that, bitch! To the right! <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Uh, yay, 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 yay. And we got a dude over here, a lady, whatever. I got a concussive shot, ready. Get the cover! Now, hit him with everything! Ah. Deploying tech over the. <clears throat> Set him on fire. Miranda, you gotta get out of my way, girl. Get ready to burn! And we'll set all you on fire. You know, just just for good measure. Heads up. I will rip you apart. Uh, we'll get you. Aw, oh, man. I missed ya. Garrus, why do you keep dying on me? Headshot, cause you know. Firing now. There we go. There could be more eclipse mercs near the shuttle. I want to make sure Oriana and her family get on safely. Of course. Let's, uh. Do -do -do -do. Just want to clear the area. Whoop, whoop. There we go. Trinket. Where's that? Trinket. There it is. This locket has a picture of an Asari and a human man. It doesn't look expensive, but likely holds sentimental value. Okay. Well, I think that's about it, so let's head out. I can't believe Niket sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Man, we all have our blind spots. Even with all your upgrades, you're human just like the rest of us. Yeah. But I let it get personal, and I screwed up. Why didn't you let me kill him? I could have handled that. But watching him get gunned down by that Asari bitch... <sighs> you definitely would have regretted that. You still cared for him, even if he betrayed you. You're right. And my father knew it. He used that against me. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket. Weakness on my part? Uh, da, 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 da. not healthy. What's not healthy? I don't even Can't know. Can't toss aside everything you care about just to be safe. Yeah, that's right. Okay, Agreed. Shepherd. My father hurt me, but he didn't break me. As much as he tried to turn me into exactly what he wanted, I'm my own person. Any other old friends your father might use against you? No, I cut ties with everyone else. Anyone I'm close to now works for Cerberus. Oh, you. No, oh, good. My father's powerful, but he won't cross the elusive man. Well, at least you kept your sister. You still have Oriana. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. Of course. Anytime. Always happy to help. And play therapist. <laughs> no sign of Eclipse. 
It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. You're her family too, Miranda. Are you gonna go say hello? Come on, we should go. You won't. You're not gonna... But you should... Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want. It's about what's right for her. Um, the no, less I she mean... knows about me, the better. I... She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. No, I mean, come on. Go, just go say hi. She doesn't need any details, but would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? For real. Sisters, man. You, you gotta do it. Yeah, sisters. I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here. Seriously. Do it. Go talk to your sister. As someone with a sister... You got to go talk to your sister. <laughs> it's okay, Miranda. We're all human. Alright, we did it. Okay, and this episode has gone a little bit long, but that's okay. It was worth it. Now we've Miranda's loyal. Alright, Miranda's loyalty is mine. Alright, so, um, yeah, and the next time we'll. I don't know. We might go do Jacob's loyalty mission next time. Uh, so yeah, as always, if you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Later!